because Squid Dragon is my favorite game. But also, I just like flying on the dragon. They do grow up and you can fly on the dragon. It's loading. Thanks, pal. Wow, that's my fella. You need to learn how to train every type of dragon if you want to become an ultimate dragon trainer. Journal to learn more. The book at the top right of your screen. Right here. Get into the adventure journal. The bookmarks on top are so no pages about your writing, your press, and your drive. You can search for guidance to help on the path of the ultimate track. For everything in the game, from fishing to completing quests, check the leaderboard. This is your browser for sharing this video. Oh, yeah. So, that's a grand game point of everything in the game. So, you start up with that. This is your grand game point. Most impressive. Let's learn about that together. It's going to be an exciting journey. Alright, what's next? The important part of the training is flying to the sky on the backs of majestic dragons. All the air at the bottom of the screen and head across the bridge. Like the light comes from the I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything. Oh, my sister obviously didn't make that home. But she thinks she did. She probably sold it wrong. Sorry for that, I'm so slow.
knows you're small though. Welcome to Flight Club. You can choose which one you want to take to the air. They all have their own strengths and weaknesses. Snow out is really eager to show the dragon's strengths, so click on Hope Bank. Okay. Click on First Flight. expansion pack. There are a couple. There's three of them. There's one for the ice one. Which would be first. And then there's called Deaths. The Eyes of the Death. Call of the Death Song. Expansion pack, which that's also oh cool. But then they made a new one called Death of like, the oh. They got the name from the Race to the Edge. Which is the name of the new series. Well, that was a great place. run. Oh, I got it. Off the head. Fish legs look happy. Random meat lug. That's Heather. What's up there? Talk to her. Hey, I'm glad to meet you. I'm Heather, the alchemist of the school. I run the lab. This is your next lesson. Let's start with a really important technique. The scientific method is a step by step way to solve any problem. Talk to Hiccup about it. Here's an exciting tip for you. Step right over here. Hey there. I'm glad method. Heather talked to you oh. about the scientific okay. method. Let me tell you how I used it. I remember when I first met my bud, Toothless. Here was this amazing sleek dragon with giant wings. And yet, he couldn't get off the ground. I couldn't figure out why he wouldn't just 
fly away. So I decided to record what I saw in my field guide. Using the scientific method, the problem was clear. This dragon couldn't fly. Now, the scientific method has a little something called the research step, which meant I had to observe Toothless. That's when I noticed part of his tail wing was missing. So I figured that could be the trouble. I was going to need some dragon. time to test my hypothesis. You can do it! I had a theory on why Toothless couldn't fly. What was it going to have on this way to fly? Think about this. I'm right. But before I could test out that hypothesis, I realized I had another problem on my hands. I needed to convince Toothless that I meant no harm or I'd never be able to help him fly again. I saw him try to eat fish, which gave me an idea. Smoke is the best fisherman here on the island. And he'll go to the master angler. Go talk to him by the way. Hey, very good, I think I'm back. I'm gonna teach you how to catch some sunfish. First, you need to get some bait. Fisher, 
you should buy lots more bait in the store to catch more fish. Most impressive. You're natural. My hypothesis was that Toothless would eat any type of fish I brought. I brought him one, so he would see me as a friend, not an enemy. If you want to get all technical, we'd call this the procedure step of the scientific method. It was the moment of truth. I brought him the fish to see if he would take it or eat me instead. Thankfully, he chose the fish. Uh, can you sort it out for me? There's a right there. The night for a fish and hope you'll eat him. The fish instead of him. Your dragon is hungry. Now you we should get to feed the dragon. Your dragon can get a bit tired, but you can bring his energy back by feeding him fish. Yeah, click on that as long as he just click on it. Put the forks and stuff. You go to cooch or whatever fish you caught. You're a natural. Since Toothless enjoyed the first fish, I decided to bring him all kinds of fish. My idea was that if he liked salmon, he would enjoy Icelandic cod and eel. Turns out I was right about Icelandic cod, but completely wrong about eel. But that's okay, because I used what I observed and developed a new theory. Dragons are afraid of eels. Next day in class, I tested my hypothesis. It looked like it worked. This is your next lesson. I had to adjust my theory on the fly when my testing showed it was false. The good thing about the scientific method is that nothing is wrong. We test hypotheses to see if they are true or false, and all data that we... Now that Toothless trusted me, I could get back to my original problem. I wanted to help Toothless fly again. It was a really thrilling difficult experience trying out many things to help him fly. It wasn't easy, and I made a lot of errors, but you know how it turned out. Now, 
Rufus and I are the best of friends. Oh, I got it. This is what I want you to do. Sorry, guys, but I think it's time to end it here.